the Norse explorer. Leif Erikson traveled to Newfoundland hundreds of years before Christopher Columbus discovered North America. Leif Erikson is one of the most famous Norse figures in North America. His legacy lies on through many statues and even a day in his honor. Welcome to Historical Saga. If you find value, hit the like and subscribe button. Now grab a cup of coffee and let's take a look at the story of Leif Erikson. We can never know for sure who was the first European to set foot in North America, but one thing is certain, it was definitely not. Christopher Columbus. Everyone knows from their history lessons that in 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. Over four voyages, he discovered much of the Caribbean and the north and east coasts of South and Central America in his quest to find a northern passage to the spice-rich East Indies. Columbus, however, never set foot in what is now North America. A few years later, in 1497, the Venetian explorer Zuin Chibato or John Cabot set out under the auspices of King Henry VII of England and landed in what we now call Newfoundland. So, was Cabot the first European to set foot in North America? No, not even close. That honor is claimed most strongly by a plucky Norse explorer named Leif Erikson who landed there almost 500 years before. Leif Erikson was the middle son of Eric the Red, the founder of the Norse settlement in Greenland and his wife Tate Schotteld. We don't know exactly when and where he was born, but it's believed to have been around 970 CE in the recently colonized Iceland. Leif's grandfather, Thorvald the Svaldsen, had been banished from Norway for manslaughter, fairly common in those days, and lived in exile in Iceland with his son Eric. When Eric himself was exiled from Iceland for killing Eyjolf the Fowl, he set out west with his family and became the first permanent settler on Greenland. In 999 C, Leif and his crew set out from Greenland to visit Norway. Following the summer in the Hebrides after being blown off course, they eventually arrived in Norway and Leif became a member of King Olaf's official entourage. He converted to Christianity and was tasked with introducing the religion to Greenland, which he started upon his return. According to the saga of the Greenlanders, Leif heard the tale of Bjarni Herjolfsson, an explorer who, on attempting to find Greenland for the first time with his crew, was blown off course and sighted hospitable-looking land with mountains, hills, and forests to the west. Anxious to get to Greenland to see his family there, Bjarni refuses to investigate and simply relays mention of the land to the west and was chided by King Eric for not investigating further. It could well have been the lack of timber that piqued Leif's interest enough that he bought Bjarni's ship and raised a crew of 35, and set out to discover the verdant land of the Americas. Leif and his crew set sail from Greenland to try to find the place discovered by Bjarni. They first encountered a land of ice and stone, which they called Haljuland, land of the flat stones, now widely believed to be Baffin Island. Seeing little there of interest, they continued on. Their next stop was a forested land with white shores which they named Markland, meaning woodland. This is thought to be somewhere on the Labrador coast of modern-day Canada. Again, this did not fit the description of Bjarni's rich and fertile discovery, and so once more they carried on. After another couple of days of sailing southwest, they finally encountered a place that seemed like the place they were searching for. They landed a headland with an island offshore and a pool accessible to ships at high tide in an area with shallow sea and sandbanks. They established a camp and explored the land, finding great forests for timber, wild wheat growing abundantly, and huge vines of grapes. Leif called the area of Vinland, Vine, Land, and he and his crew remained there until the spring. They then set sail back to Greenland, loaded with timber, wheat, and grapes for their people at home. On the way home, the saga tells of them seeing a shipwreck and rescuing two sailors trapped there. It's not clear where this was, whether it was on the mainland or an island, and so it's possible that Leif Erikson was not actually the first European to set foot in North America either. Modern Vinland, it's difficult to pinpoint exactly where Leif and his crew visited. Halyland's description fits Baffin Island perfectly, but Markland could have been almost anywhere along the Labrador coast. Leif's settlement in Vinland, however, is most commonly believed to be Ellands Ox Meadows, the only known Norse archaeological site in North America. The site was added to the UNESCO World Heritage list in 1978. Ellands Ox Meadows is a site consisting of eight buildings, dwellings, or workshops on the northernmost tip of Newfoundland. The excavated remains of wood-framed peat turf buildings are similar to those found in Norse Greenland and Iceland. The lack of burial sites and tools suggests that it was not a long-lived settlement, but rather could have been a camp set up as a boat repair facility. 
The presence of certain food items, such as butternuts, suggests that those who inhabited the settlement must have traveled further south, at least as far as New Brunswick. It's also possible that Vinland refers not simply to one place, but the whole country, or at least a region of it. Many scholars disagree with the possibility that vines were growing grapes in Newfoundland, as the temperatures would not have been high enough. The first statue of Leif Erikson was erected in Boston in 1887, and a replica was erected in Milwaukee. In 1925, at the Minnesota State Fair, President Calvin Coolidge marked the centenary of the first official immigration of Norwegians to America by declaring that Leif Erikson had indeed been the first European to discover America. As the first immigration boat arrived on October 9, 1825, and Leif's voyage was known to have taken place in the fall, October 9th was settled upon as the day to commemorate both events for Norwegian Americans. In 1929, the Wisconsin legislature passed a bill to declare it Leif Erikson Day, and in 1964, the U.S. Congress authorized and requested the president to proclaim each year that October 9th be Leif Erikson Day. In connection with the World Exhibition in Seattle in 1962, a five-meter high monument to Leif was erected. A smaller version was donated to Trondheim in connection for the city millennium in 1997, and stands by the modern Perseverate development watching cruise ships arrive. Whether you believe North America was first encountered by Leif Erikson, Bjarni Herjolfsson, or the two random sailors rescued by Leif on his way home, it's clear that Norsemen can certainly lay claim to being the first Europeans to have visited the continent. Well, guys, that's all we know for Leif Erikson and his past. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching. Take care and see you soon.